is about this lecture is about azure ml workspace azure ml workspace is the home of all azure ml objects so let's first create an azure ml workspace from the portal so let's jump in click on machine learning create the machine learning workspace resource group we create a new works resource group rg azure ml workspace name is rg ws azure ml the region is central india the storage account it is already there that they have given you can always create your own name rg azure ml stg account you can create also a key vault associated with it rg azure ml kv you can create also the application insights i am not changing the name we keep everything as default and say review and create and then we create the azure ml workspace so the deployment is in progress so it might take some time so let's come back once it is ready thank you bye i am back again the azure ml workspace has been deployed so let's go to the resource so this is the workspace we can launch the studio from here it is loading the workspace okay before we go on to anything let's first understand the three main blocks here the author block it has got notebooks it has got automated ml designer the assets it has got data sets experiments pipelines models and endpoints and it has got a manage section which has got compute environments data stores data labeling and linked services so this is a home of everything and this gives a very nice place in which you can get everything so let's explore the workspace so you you can download the config.json which actually would give you some configurations which you can use in code so let's download this if we open this in visual studio code so it is taking some time to open so i'll go to downloads okay so this is the one that is in config.json note note the elements which is said it has got the subscription id the resource group and the workspace name okay so we will use uh, config.json in a very simplified notebook so as to show of how we can use the config.json so what we will do is that we will use a getting started notebook in the getting started notebook we will use the azure machine learning python sdk to interact with the azure machine learning workspace so the first step is import azure ml core and you can print it here so let's run it again so we have this and then we can also get the workspace name from the config file the config file is in the same directory as this notebook 
you can see it here I have placed the config file here and you can view the machine learning workspaces in the workspaces but compute machine learning resources in the workspace but here we do not have anything therefore it is printing blank so this completes of how you can use the config file with the workspace I will show you another demo in which we can create the workspace directly from code. So here let's jump in to another notebook here. Here what we do is that it is the same. So let me clear everything, restart and clear output. So here also I am importing the azure ml dot core. We print the azure ml core version. We create the workspace. Here note what we are passing is the subscription ID. We are authenticating with this interactive login authentication call. Here since we have already created one Azure ML workspace, uh, let me just also change the resource group here. So the workspace name is Azure ML underscore workspace. The subscription ID is the SID that I am using and I am creating a resource group if it is not there. So let's see once what it does. So it is using an authentication. Okay, so I have logged into the Azure ML service. So what would happen is that this will create an Azure ML workspace through code. So I repeat once again, we created the Azure ML workspace from the portal. We are now creating the Azure ML workspace through the code. What are the things that is required? We are using the name, the subscription ID, the resource group, the create resource group is equal to true meaning if it is not there, the resource group is not there then it will create one and it will also create in what location we are specifying. So let it create and we will come back once it is done. Thank you. Bye. So we are back again and now we see that it has created a new resource group RG Azure ML2. If I go into it, you will see this part is very important. Once you create the workspace, it creates C application insights, the key vault and the storage account. We did not specify anything of that but it created on its own. So that is what I would like to point out to you and similarly the Azure ML workspace also if I go and launch the studio it has got the same components as before as we had created in the portal. It has got the data sets, experiments, pipelines, models, endpoints and the manage block and the author block. So this completes the Azure ML workspace video. The intention was to introduce you to the concept of the Azure ML workspace. It houses everything. Hope you liked it. Bye.